goddamn a lot of fan service, a lot of echo fan service during No Nut November. I think, anyways. So the interesting thing about the last episode is not the fan service. It's actually the implication of what is gonna happen with the end game because spirits technically, apparently. What was the mechanic? Apparently humans are somehow embedded in spirits or the other way around. So now you have these enemies who could be humans faking disguise, but they're actually spirits. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, we're going to get into a new arc. Let's begin today's reaction. Hmm. Is this supposed to be a monk? Wait, you got a disguise like this. <laughs> Wait, you got like a gangster, but you look like a biker monk. Oh, it's this guy again. Wasn't this guy one of the part of the people that um, was responsible for Castle H? And gave the ritual to the parent and daughter. Or maybe I'm wrong. Or was this the human that was implied to be like a like a spirit, you know? She gonna be is, is Granny our next opponent? Like a actual endgame villain? Alright, she's sprinkling that good shit over the knife. What does it do? I'm sure it's like holy salt or something, right? Did we just exercise the cursed thing in the knife? Maybe? That was it? All you, all you have to do is sprinkle a little salt? Alright. Hmm, this guy has gloves too, just like, you know, us. Replaced by, what do you mean? You're replaced by a spirit? Is that what you're implying again? His eyes changed there. The col I don't know, the, the color, something changed. I don't know. Last episode, they're really implying there are these humans that could technically be spirits. I don't trust these two. Look at that. Look, 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 look. I don't like this at all. When you don't show me your eyes like that, there's such like a shade. Look at that smile, too. Spirit can read their memories once they're. So they're, they can fake it completely, right? That check there of like the porno mags or whatever, right? That's something maybe he would only know as a human, but no. The spirits already read. They know what you've, do, you've done as a human. They could just keep, you know, going, swapping bodies like that? It's a new body for her too. What was her old body? Finally, what well, we've been working towards, the water gate, another S rank. Now it looks like Oswald and them are going to show up here, right? Shami's already here, the granny. These spirit TV spiritualists reminds me of like um fake spiritualist and mob psycho. All these TV person personalities that are actually frauds. She got a YouTube channel too, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Granny's fucking hustling. Damn. Well, did she make it out alive though? At which point did her body get swapped? Huh? At what point? Was she always like this? Even during her YouTube days before she visited these different places? Or did she get swapped at one of those places? This looks like where she got possessed, huh? Ew. Oh! I don't know. It's just a random room. I, I can't really guess where this is, right? It's just a random room with flickering lights. But that's when she got possessed. <laughs> the third grader, you gotta act like a human, come on. Be nice. It's a little rude. Kay can f tell something? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something horrible. How are we gonna, like, detect? I don't know what that was about, but how are we gonna figure out that she is actually a spirit? <laughs> what that tongue doing, Granny? Careful now. <laughs> I already know. Don't tell me about it, kid. Does she know? Does she not know? Aren't we technically competing for the same ghost then? Maybe this will be somehow like a cool way of like working toward like... Like this granny right now, we know that she's a spirit. But what if this is like a cool collaboration? We kind of like fight with our enemy. And then we don't really know that she's even an enemy until the end. Surely we're not going to get a bunch of killed kids this episode, right? That one kid has no friends. He's gotten beaten up too. What if he has no home? Now I feel bad. Or was he a spirit? The ghost come out. Kid, are you a kid? Are you, are you a spirit? What are you? Is he socially inclusive? Oh, I forgot. He was, yeah. Wow, Keitaro, the grown-up, the college student, is finally able to approach the little kids and talk to them. That sounds really fucking weird now that I'm saying like, the context matters, okay? Mom, mom is dead. 
Why you gotta say that, K Tuttle? What the fuck? Is he mute? I live with my dad. I don't have a mom. Oh, this is bad. What if the mom is that lady that appears at the top of this water gate? Remember, there's a lady at the top. Dad brought home a mom. I hope so you can be friends. We are best friends. Oh, wait, is that a new girlfriend from dad? Wait, what's going on? Um, I don't know if I want to keep reading this. I don't know if I want to keep reading this, man. I like my mom. I don't want my dad to be sad. So, so the mom beats the kid. What the fuck? I mean, I guess like moms can do that too. He's gone. There was a weird noise and the kid disappeared. Maybe the kid's already dead. I don't know. He's over there. Never mind. I don't know. I thought that maybe the kid was dead from all the... I don't know. The, the mom like treating him like trash, right? Maybe it, the domestic abuse got so bad the kid is already dead and this is like a haunted kid. So... Your dad's done. Crunching noises? I think those are like saws. I don't know. It looked like they got some kind of weapons to cut the bodies, right? Meatballs. What are you eating? Throw it away! I think that's his dad. Bro, you're eating your dad. Bro! No shot, you, you're eating. No shot. I mean, the fish has to eat it now, I guess. That's fucked either way. Please cook for this kid. Do not. No, fucking smack that out of the head. That is the dad. Yeah. Oh, no! Stop! Stop! 100%. That's dad meatball. Oh, I secretly ate them. No. No. This... This soundtrack in the background is so fucking creepy too. This is like pretty fucking... With the arms are moving on its own? Okay, the story continues. The mom stabbed him. Dude, this episode is fucking creepy. Yo, are you guys listening? Did you listen to that? The meatballs the dead, guys. Oh. The mom. Mom's about to murder the kid? But the kid is alive, I... No, the mom murdered herself. Huh? The kid? I, I guess the mom stabbed the kid there at the end, but I thought the kid's alive here, but the kid's not here anymore. I am confused. The illusion hurt? Is the kid still here? The kid's gone. I'm so confused. It looks like the mom kind of killed the kid there at the end. Who's watching in the background? That mom is a fucking demon. The drawing's continuing. Me and the man into meatballs. That's one way of getting rid of human bodies. Yeah, you ate your dad, kid. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the kid wasn't real. I thought he was a human. Okay, I got I got baited out by Yayoi's like commentary. Is the kid the yes, S-grade curse here? Yeah, why did he tell us this? Does he want us to save him? I hate my mom. That's the mom. Did he hang the mom? What's going on? What's he doing? Is that the mom again? The lady that appears at the top. According to the urban legend, is that the mom? Is she throwing meatballs? Oh, she's gone again. 
And now she's there. Hello? Fuck you. No, no, no. This granny, bro. Yo. He's mine. Wait, he's mine. Who was he in this context here? The kid or a Keitaro? It's better that way. That's the mom. What? Whoa, 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 The meatballs. What's going on? So it looked like she captured the kid or the uh, the kid with with the fan, right? But then it wasn't enough. Not her. Yeah, Ayo is really calm about this. Like her arm just got cut off. Hello, guy. And now she's getting hung instead. Yeah, Ayo is still no reaction. This is cool. I thought Xiaomi was kind of badass. Now she's just getting fucked up. We're just gonna watch her, guys. Hello. My mom is everywhere. So the kid got so traumatized, he basically just like kills women. That re it just reminds him of his mom. Yeah, you always do something. So all the girls here, I, I guess they're all like, you know, I guess it can't be the guys, but it just reminds him of his mom. They all just die like this. Yo, Xiaomi, I thought you got a little more than that. I don't know, I had a lot of high expectations for Xiaomi. This is kind of disappointing. Yayo still doesn't give a fuck. Yayo just straight up wants the granny get split in half. No reaction. What the fuck? Yo, get rid of those fucking meatballs, bro. What the fuck? Ah! It's moving. The meatballs are moving. Hey, it's a kid again. Wait, wait. What do you mean? The story... What, what are we wrong about? My mom, meatballs, meatballs, my mom. This is reminding of some Doki Doki Literature Club cursed poetry. What the fuck? Even the piano sounds being altered pitched right now in the background. It's very reminiscent of Doki Doki. No, we ain't eating your meatballs. Get the fuck out of my face. Huh? I'm not really sure what I understood at the end there, but basically him saying pure indiscriminatory rage. It's the kid just lashing out at the fucked up situation that happened because of his mom. Now he just straight up just killing everybody because of the shit that happened. I don't even blame the kid to be honest. If you were in a situation where your dad brought a new mom, the mom was cheating, th that your dad gets killed by the guy, and then the mom made you feed the fucking meatballs made out of your dad, I think this makes a lot of sense. One of the most creepiest fucking stories, one of the most disappointing things of Hishami. I thought, I don't know, this arc would be like highlighting these new opponents that there are. You know, there's Oswald and there's Shami. I thought maybe we'd work together with Shami, not really knowing who she really is. And at the end, maybe a little bit of like a hint as to who she really was. But so cool regardless that there is this new way of like, 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 hu like humans can be spirits, you know. Spirits can like read people's minds. And they can just like act like people. Hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content. Until next time, take care.